I'm Dan Johnson and I'm speaking today with Chip Irwin, who is here in an aircraft that looks like it has about the fewest parts possible on a fixed wing airplane. Look at this thing over carefully, it kind of looks like sort of two halves of a few bits of aluminum and this thing actually flies, does it Chip? It's all you need to fly and hardly anything else. <laughs> Well, I would guess that's about right. Tell me what the concept for the, this is the Zigolo or yeah, Zigolo? Zigolo. Zigolo, yeah, and it, then you've got some numbers that follow that, right? MG-12? Yeah, this started out as a as a, self, as a glider in California. Oh, in Mike, California, Michael okay. Sand, Sandlins, American design. The, the, the Italians uh, took the, off the internet, the plans are available. Lots of people are building these as gliders. Now, is this but the one we've seen as the goat? Yeah, the goat glider. The same one as yeah. a goat, okay. And, and it's real popular uh, as, you know, it's not really a true glider, but like a hang glider isn't really a glider, but they're so light wing loading that they float. And you catch some thermals and, and rid soaring, and, and, and you can essentially, you're, you're gliding. Well, let's talk about weight while we're at it, because it certainly yeah. looks like it has to be about as few pounds as you could possibly manage in a fixed wing aircraft. So this is a dopen fabric construction. No, right? no, it's a, it's a second it's just, it, okay, it's Okay, it's secret. Shrunk, and then, uh, then painted. Okay. Um, but um, then the uh, some Italian, some uh, young, smart Italian guys put it all into the CAD and, uh, and morphed it into a, a motor glide. Well, it looks like an ultralight, but it's really a motor, self-launching motor glider. So the real idea here, go up in the air, turn the engine off? Well, it depends on what you want to do. Uh, some I mean, people, if, you, if you feel some, accomplished about it. I soaring. think they're pretty much, uh, a small group of people want to fly uh, where they can do that. They can self-launch and turn it off and see how long they can stay up. And a, a larger group of people just want to uh, fly in very inexpensively and very safely in smooth air like mornings and evenings. Okay, so uh, tell me a little bit about the engine. Tell me a little bit about the amount of fuel you've got on board, so we translate what you just yeah. said into okay. Well, I, I want to, it's a it's a calm, beautiful morning or evening. I just want to go up and get a little air. Uh, right. How engine, long can I go? What will it do for? They've me? made probably hundreds of thousands of this engine for uh, motor scooters, and now uh, more recently, tens of thousands of them for the powered paragliders. Ah, okay. so, with that so what engine drive, does it tell us what engine? It's a Vittorazzi engine. Vittorazzi engine. Very, very well established company in Italy making hundreds of thousands of engines. So the engine is very well proven. It is a two-stroke, but it runs really smoothly and it just loves to fly uh, to power that propeller uh, at uh, a little higher RPMs because that's what those little engines are sure, used to. Sure, right. But you can hold the engine in one hand. It's a 25-pound engine. Wow, I, it looks like there's super. I, I see most of the exhaust back there. Well, that's, and, that, and, that's and to keep intake silencer. Is that what that is? I'm seeing. Yeah, it's, it's to keep it quiet. So uh, yeah, you, you, know, you have a video on your website, and it's uh, see the engine running. I can't yeah. hardly hear it though. Yeah, I'll well, turn your volume up, but <laughs> it's uh, it, it, it's really quite quiet. And that and and of course the electric version is going to be really cool because you can take off with the sound of the of a fan. Just a, yeah, just and, a fan running. And that's really nice when you're just flying around the neighborhood for your 20 minute evening flights. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Right. You're not bothering anybody. You're not a mosquito up there. And so, and you can slow it down. And even for self launching during the day, you can get, you can restart just by like turning a real stat. Yeah, you don't have right. To wonder right. if a two stroke engine is going to start or be pulled out of court. You just want to make it back to the airport or get back to the next thermal, you just turn up the propeller. <laughs> so what, is, it, is it coming as a kit or is it ready to fly well, airplane? It's both. It's, it's a little bit of each. The kit is uh, all pre-drilled, pre-cut, simple assembly, 100-hour kit. But I'm going to do it one step further and offer the, the IKEA airplane, the IKEA desk of airplanes, where we build the whole thing and take it apart and put it in one crate for shipping. It's a sum assembly required pictograms of what you need. So the build time should be about an afternoon. Is that right? Okay, from, and, and, and right now, these are made in uh, Italy? They're made in Italy. And, uh, and you bring in all the parts yeah, here for right. a kit, or you I'll assemble one and we'll ship both. it to somebody then? Both, I'll, okay. I'll be doing the, I'll be doing the, making some design upgrades to, the, to it, and making it so it's very simple to take apart and put together. And that way I can ship it out as a kit anywhere, and they can just choose the, um, the BRS or the Camelli parachute, the electric or the gas engine, and maybe one of two or three colors. Okay. And then they take it, they get the crate, and a few hours later they're flying. If it's a kit, how long is the build time? It's a, uh, too many parts. Yeah, it's a hundred hours, 
and I built the airframe and the wings. I built everything aluminum at 100 hours my first time, and um, and then I had to. You got a little it, bit of experience took, more than yeah. the average guy, but yeah. still yeah, 100 but, hours but is a reasonable number. It took me a few number. more days to do the covering. Okay. So I think 150 hours is, is uh, reasonable. But even even then, I mean, if you're off by 50 percent, it's an extra week. It's right. No big deal. It's still a very very low time kit. Yeah. But for the guy that says, I don't want any part of that. What's the minimum I can do? You'll basically ship them one in yeah, a box. Yeah, ship them in a crate, with some assembly required. Okay. And not even, the assembly manual will be pictogrammed. Here's we're a, talking less than 10 hours or something, right? No, an afternoon. An afternoon, you take, okay. Yeah, take it out of the crate, lay it out, and then follow the pictogram like you're building that kid desk. <laughs> here's the tools you need, here's step one, two, three, four, five, and it's done. Beautiful. So what, what kind of performance would we get out of with this engine as far as the, the uh, climb rates and cruise speeds and glides and that type of thing? Well, it's a... Uh, Basically, you put the power on, lift the tail, and rotate. So it's a 22 mile an hour stall. 22. Yeah. So I just as soon as I basically as soon as I see the this little disc go up, I'm flying. Yeah, that's gonna now. I gotta bring attention to two instruments on this aircraft that I think are two of the best instruments ever invented for aircraft. Number one, the Hall wind speed meter, uh, which is just a marvelous, never screws up. Instrumentation, and you've marked it here for yeah. uh, what is this? Stall, uh, speed, stall and speed and, and B and E. And the second one is even simpler yet. It's this little piece of yarn yeah, here. Yeah, that's the rain. That's the that tells you if it's raining because it's wet. It's raining, <laughs> and this tells you how much rain you gave. <laughs> you don't need that at all. But this will, uh, if you get this thing pointed back at you like this, you're in uh, proper flying yeah. mode. If it's like this, you, you need can, to push out a pedal. Yeah, well, you don't need it. You can feel it. <laughs> I'm sure you can, but I do love now, the uh, yaw string. What do you have here? This is the instrument panel. <laughs> and he's looking at a, a little digital I got the world's smallest that... instrument panel. This has, uh, it's made for powered paragliders that don't have any place to put something. They put it on their wrist. And I it's see, got okay. a CHT, EGT, TAC, OPS meter, time to service, flight time. And it all and appears, or you, do you have to hit the little button? No, there no, it's all there. Oh, uh, wow. Except for the, yeah, it's all there. Beautiful. And then, I put the um, a handheld transceiver on with my noise canceling headsets. I have my my, my uh, smartphone that can, will do Bluetooth music to it, and also has the backup IFR, which is I Follow Roads GPS. <laughs> and then I've got this really slick Garmin watch, which gives me the moving map, uh, altitude, VSI, compass, uh, outside air temperature, like you really need that, and you know, pressure altitude, density altitude, and, and it tells time too. Well, let me coin a phrase here. We've heard about wearable computers. I think this is wearable avionics. Yeah, this is, I have a walking <laughs> panel. I, I, so, when I go, I strap everything on me, and I've got more than most airplanes. <laughs> on your person? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm looking at the joystick here. Not only is it a nice looking construction, but this is where the throttle is too, right? Yeah, it's where, your, where your forefinger is right here is the That's throttle. It. That's it. And what else you got on the stick? On off. On off. There's a warm up uh, cruise button there. Ah, okay, so okay. Ah, I see. Oh, uh, a friction lock. That kind quite, of it's kind of a stop, but it's more for a warm up, but it doesn't really do okay. much. It really, you can hold the stick anyway. So, if you, you can hold it with basically one finger and set your RPM that way and keep the other hand warm. So, the 25 horse Viterazzi engine has how much fuel supply, which is right behind you here, I see. What do you got on Yeah, board? it's uh, 12 liters. 12 liters, it's about uh, two and a half gallons. Yeah, okay. And, so. and it gives you about uh, two hours of two uh, flight. <laughs> two and a half gallons, two hours, that tells yeah. you a lot right there. Yeah, you can well, have a long range tank, an extra gallon. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a. Because of its low weight, somewhere you said under 225 oh, pounds, well, and limit, that includes the ballistic the parachute. The limit is 200 parachute, which is included in, with the airframe, air price, uh, is a, a compressed air that blows it out. Right. And we have the DRS uh, rocket uh, propelled. Okay, so you have either way, this is the one that comes with the base, right. base unit. Right. And, and we normally avoid talking about price on these because the prices change. So if you're watching this on YouTube and it's a lot, you know, a few years down the road, 
you got to contact the manufacturer and find out. We'll tell you how in a minute. But today, what's the price on this airplane? The kit, and and, and I mean all inclusive kit, because it has engine, it, we're, the parachute, most kits the don't have work. engines or, right. or avionics or anything. This has the, the airspeed indicator. <laughs> That's included. That's included. But the, the engines included, the propellers included, and the parachutes included for fourteen thousand five hundred. Fourteen thousand five hundred dollars. This also, that's a kit, but you offer it ready to fly or almost yeah. ready to fly. Yeah. You called it. Yeah, we call it a, and it, you know, like I said, the can desk of airplanes. And what does that cost? It comes in a crate, and, a, and the build time is about an afternoon, and it's sixteen thousand dollars, and that that's everything you see here. So sixteen thousand dollars, everything you see, an afternoon's worth of work, and you're in the air, and you can yeah. have a lot of fun. Where do we go to find out some more stuff about the airplane? You've got videos, you've got yeah. pictures, you've got a lot of good stuff. Where is it? Yeah, we just we'll put it up our on the screen. But... At aeromarine-lsa.com. Aeromarine-lsa.com. I've already got some information about the Zigolo on my or Zigolo on my website, and you can uh, read more about that at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for watching today.